Welcome guys. So we'll look into a core data interpretation set. Uh, this is a typical set that you need to be a little smart while solving it. That's all it requires. It's not at all tough or, you know, too calculative even. You know, your smartness would be in calculation. That's all. Uh, now, before starting, we have our complete uh, CAT 2020 course. Uh, the link of the course description is there in the description section. So you can go and check it out. Okay. Now let's see this. The table below shows the information about the points scored by Varun in this competition AHC in each of the five different mind games that is Dice Dance, Dupe, Digit and Dynasty. Now, now let's see each of the points. The first point says that for every successful attempt, Varun gets one point and for every unattempted problem, he loses one sixth of the point and for every failure, he loses one third of the point. So typical uh, uh, that what happens in a ZAT exam. Not exactly like this, but similar to something like that. Okay, so we know total problems, total problems attempted, successful attempts, failures and net score. Okay, so according to the situation that is given over here or condition given over here for failure, it would be one third successful one point uh, unattempted would be the difference between the total problems and prob problems attempted and that would be multiplied by one by six. Okay, with negative marking, right? Because it loses. Okay, so every day that would be a negative marks. Now fine, the second point says that Varun scored a total of 67 points uh, in the end and attempted 125 problems. So total number of problems that was attempted was, or if we sum all the numbers in this column, this would be 125 and the net score total was 67. Fine, now let's see what is there in the third point. It says that the number of failures of Varun in digit, okay, in digit means over here, is one six the total number of failures okay well, total number of failures is one six. if this is complete f this would be f by six and twice the number of failures in dance okay so this number is twice the number of failures in dance so this the total number of failures in dance would be f by 12 simple fine uh, net score in dance is double than that in dope okay so if this is 2x this would be uh, x fine okay so this was all the information that we have now we can see that in complete total of the number of attempts we can de definitely arrive at something now total number of problems altogether was 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15 carry 1 that makes it to 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 3 is 10 and this is 185 so the total number of problem that was not attempted was how much the difference between 185 and 25 and that is 60 and for this 60 uh, we'll have a negative marking of 1 by 6 that is minus 10 marks would be deducted okay can you find the total number of successful attempts yes we can definitely find now let's see this uh, let's try to be a little smart and try to get the total number of successful attempts over here if we sum this up along this column now, total number of problem that was attempted, we know is 125. Now, the total number of failures is F. If I've taken total number of failures is F. So, can I write for every failure, I'm writing 4 by 3 into F. Now, do not get confused why I'm writing 4 by 3. I should have written 1 by 3. Now, see, there's a difference between that. Now, why so? Uh, because if I write 4 by 3, it is nothing but 1 plus 1 by 3 now one mark would be deducted because it has been done wrong for the wrong question because it has made it wrong and one third as penalty and i'm deducting it or i'm subtracting it from the total number of attempts that is 125 not from the uh, points that i've got in successful attempts you getting my point hope this makes sense and this will ease my calculation and this gives effectively uh, and I have to subtract minus 10 in fact because total number of unattempted question so 60 and 1 by 6 so that makes it to minus 10 and that gives 67 so what is the value of f can you can easily calculate the value of f that will make it to okay so this would be 77 now if I take minus 10 on the RHS this would be 77 Okay, uh, 77 and 125, so 25 plus 23, that will make it to 48, that equals to 4 by 3F, and 12, okay, F is nothing but 36. 
So that's very clear. Now I got f equals to 36. Total f equals to 36. Now can I find the total number of successful attempts? Yes, because from the total number of problems attempted, if I subtract 36, I'll get the total number of successful attempts. And what is this? 25 out of 36, that will make it to 5, 6, 9, okay, 89. Now I've got value of f so i can get the value of these two numbers so f by 12 is nothing but 3 and f by 6 is nothing but 6 so you can see that we are going ahead and trying to get some values in the table now over here if you look into dupe uh, can you find the value of x because i can see that out of this one five columns this important four columns, three column is fixed. Uh, we, we know the value, so we can easily do that. Number of unattempted problem is the difference between the two, that is 18. And over here, if I know the total number of attempts are 17, 6 leads to failure, the number of successful attempts is 11. Now I can find the exact value of x. What would be the exact value of x? Uh, successful, I'll get one mark, so that is 11. Uh, this 1 by 6 of unattempted so minus 3 and 1 by 3rd of failure that would lead to minus 2 so 6 so this will make it to 6 now if this is 6 it makes it 12 now if this is 12 can I find the values over here I can easily do that right similarly I'll uh, try to find the total number of attempts let's suppose I take this as k can I find the value? Yes. Similarly, as we have done in the total number over here, we can do that. Right? Let's uh, see this. So 30, the difference is 30 minus k. So 30 minus k ka 1 by 6 and that is negative. Now total number of successful attempts is nothing but k minus 3. And over here 1 third, so minus 1. This will give to 12. Now I can easily for solve for k. So let's quickly do that. So it will be k minus 4 minus of 30 minus k bracket my 6. This equals to 12. So this is giving 6k and minus k plus k that will make it to 7k. 24 and minus 30 that is minus 54 and 72 and minus 54 120 okay 126. So this is giving me the exact value of k that is nothing but 156 is 8. So value of k is nothing but 18. Okay. Now if this is 18, number of successful attempts is 15. Now let's uh, not solve much and let's try to see how much we can answer. The first question is what is the total number of failures by Varun? So we know that total number of failures is 36. That was very easy and we would have answered earlier. Now question number two, what is the maximum number of failures by Varun in any of the game? Okay, so we need to find all the values for the failure. Fine. And what is the number of the problems attempted by Varun in dance? Attempted by Varun in dance. So we can answer this. That is 18. And uh, what is the net score of Varun in dynasty? So we need to find value of this. Okay. So let's uh, do it further. Let's solve it further and try to see if we can get something more or not. Now, if we look into this row for digit, we can exactly find, can we find the value over here? So let's suppose I take this as K. Let me remove this because let's not have any confusion so again using the similar approach uh, I can easily find that so the difference is nothing but minus 40 minus k ka 6 by 6 plus okay now if this is the total number of attempts okay I'll write it as k so the number of successful attempt would be k minus 6 the so k minus 6 and minus 2 minus 2 will give me 11 so again similarly this is k four. okay the value of k is nothing but 22 here so value of k is 22 so let's put put it over here that is 22 and this is k minus 6 so 22 minus 6 would be 16 now I can find the value over here. I can find the value over here because if you sum this up, this is making it to 125. So let's quickly sum this the remaining number. 18 plus 22 will make it to 40. 40 plus 29 will make it to 79. 79 plus 17. So 3 less than 97. Uh, sorry, 3 less than 99. That's 96 and 25. 
is 29 over here and similarly over here I can find the exact value so let's do that because I need to see the values for the successful attempts and failures fine so I can find the value over here I can find the value over here okay let's do that 15 plus 11 is making it to 26 26 plus 16 so that is 36 plus 6 42 42 plus 30 is nothing but 72 72 and 18 that makes it to 17 over here now if this is 17 total number of problems attempted is 29 successful attempt is 17 so wrong or failure is 12 i can find the net score net score would be very simple this is minus 1 17 minus 4 so 17 may say minus 4 i got uh, 13 13 may say this is 12 okay now i can cross check in fact uh, because I can find the value over here and I can exactly find the value over here and cross check it So fine. Uh, let's do that uh, 12 plus 3 is 15 15 plus 6 is 21 21 plus 6 is <clears throat> 27 and this is 36 so this would be 9 over here now. What is the value over here? Uh, can you find the exact value? So successful attempt is 30 and This difference is of 6 so minus 1 mass so that is 29 and if I decrease it by 3, so that will make it to 26. Now, if we sum this up, is it making it to 67? Let's cross check it. 22, this is 12 plus 12 is 40. 24 plus 6 is 30. 30 plus 1 is 41. 41 plus 26 is making it to 67. So perfect. Now we can answer the question uh, what is the maximum number of failures by Varun in any of the game? What is the maximum value? Maximum value is 12. And uh, what is the net score of one in dynasty we got that is 26. So that's all. So uh, you just need to be a little smart in taking the value or uh, the variables and solve accordingly what is there in the question. Hope you have understood it. Thank you.